matter the cows around living in town sometimes brings me down let me bestow this western blessing leave you settle down for you always have cows around hey there i'm stella from cfcw and i'm here south of mondaire to meet stella the calf i brought presents for her too so if one day your steak tastes a little funny you'll know why you're famous for uh, a certain LRT ride. Is that true? I think so. Yeah, I was really, really concerned the lack of lack of downtown participation in farm fair. Right. So uh, the president of Northlands and I concocted this, and Jim Taylor, president of downtown business, concocted this. Uh, just put the hip on the LRT, bring her downtown. So we traveled to the uh, to the station at Northland. It was a bit complicated. We had to take an elevator up to get it over the tracks, and then down again to get into the into the car. So we boarded the car, and the car was empty other than a full car of media. And there's a picture in the, on the wall over there. So we traveled downtown, and I was told that we're going to get off at Churchill Square, but change of plans at the last minute, and they made me bring Snowflake up the elevator in uh, Winspeed. And there was a fellow walking behind to make sure that the path was clean after she, she left. So they took another elevator up. To Churchill Square. But we travel from Northland to downtown. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I heard it was a I heard it was a bull. You know what, I'm gonna no, it wasn't a bull. Oh, so this is no bull then. The only bull that was there was uh, Ed Stone that was me. <laughs> Living in town sometimes brings me down Let me bestow this western blessing And share what I have found May you always have cows around What else you gonna spend that extra money on? What else is gonna get you up hours before dawn? What else is gonna keep you toiling on and on and on? May you always have cows around. Come on, you know that you got too much okay. time on your hands. Not merely enough complication in your plans. You need to invite all of the frustration that you... Can you tell us the story as to why you named her Stella and talk about her bloodlines and why she is the supreme being that she is? Well, in... I'm very careful. I'm very careful in picking names. Obviously, I like the, the name Stella, and it's a beautiful heifer, energetic like Stella the real. Don't forget she's got a great voice. And she has. She has potential to be a show animal. She's only three and a half months old. And it's got good form, nice body, nice head. So her dad's she, name is Marty the Bull? And, and Marty sired her. Marty is a full French Charlie Bull. And you see the tag, number 37. Mother is Janice. She's 19C, sired by Marty. And she's got a tattoo on her left ear. 19C. So at what age or uh, when will you breed her? She will be bred in uh, probably uh, 18 months from now. So if she has certainly any... Certainly not by Marty. <laughs> Do we know who she's going to be bred with? She'll be bred by you know. By you know? What if I don't know? <laughs> That's why I'm asking. <laughs> this is long-term planning. <laughs>
Hang on, don't point it at me because I don't know exactly how to do this. Do not try this at home, kids. Not even a kiss. So before we before we uh, share in the champagne and the, and the lovely day, I, I have, do have a serious toast to make. Uh, 114 years ago, John's grandparents left everything to come to a different country. They had nothing. Like my grandparents came three years earlier. They came with faith. They came with their children. They came with steam trucks. And they came with $10 that the federal government promised them a, a homestead. And they homesteaded here. So really, this is as much about the decision that they made 114 years ago as it is about anything else. But we ask that God bless John and Kathy, John's late parents, John's late grandparents, and the future generations of people who decide to homestead and live here in Alberta. So here's to them. Stella will be a heifer until she has a calf, and then she'll just be a cow. <laughs>